Welcome back to another Mind Test mod review. Today we are looking at the Motorbikes mod, which, as you can see, adds motorcycles. Um, or dirt bikes. I mean, I guess maybe it's more of a dirt bike than a motorcycle. I, it probably depends on where you live in the world as to how they're classified. Um, as always, let's look at the crafting recipe first. So you yeah, got the wheels, which are made with obsidian shards and steel. And then the bikes all follow the exact same recipe and you just use a different color wool for whatever color bike that you want. So let's let's take a red one because everybody knows that red things dry faster. Um, and here you see the, the first bug. Um, I don't lose the items when placing them. So I can just put out a bajillion of these and then and then wait for it I can pick them up and uh, I can duplicate them I don't know if that's uh, the fault of me or if that's the fault of the mod I'm I always run dev builds you know because that's how I roll so I don't know hopefully that'll be fixed um, they also always place pointing whatever direction I'm looking here as you can see they are they all face that way doesn't matter which way you're standing when you place it but uh, not to worry you can still do things like this and like this you just need to start the bike up and then drive it and park it where you want it to be so let's do that because that's the fun part uh, I'm gonna grab one of these red ones again because red things are always faster I don't think it's actually the case. Um, one fun thing that you can't do, because I tried this, you can't knock the knock the bikes over, which is quite sad. I was a little disappointed. Um, steering. Steering is um, not as you might expect. You do not use A and D to steer. W accelerates, S brakes, and goes in reverse, because these are fancy bikes that have a reverse. Uh, it says you can do spacebar to pop a wheelie, but I have not gotten that to work. To to steer, you use the mouse. And the bike leans very realistically, which I think is super cool. As a motorcyclist myself, oh boy. Oh boy, that's stuck. As am I. Uh, no worries, I've got, a, I've got a whole yard full of them here. We'll just, we'll just grab a different one, you know? And do a turn. Oh, and there's a hole here. That's uh, that's a little nauseating right there. But if you got a nice flat place, or you know, if you like build a track, you know, you could do all kinds of fun motorcycle races. Uh, and there's also cruise control, which can be activated by holding down shift. So you get yourself to a speed that you like going, hold down shift, and you'll keep going that speed until oh boy you uh you crash because the crash will slow you down and then you will keep going that speed that you crashed and are going and then if you want to pick up speed again you just you know w key to pick up speed it's right along the beaches here um, as far as i can tell there's really no speed difference dependent on what surface you're on um, I don't think controls really handle any differently either. Ooh, hit something hard there. Of course, we can do fun things like, like this. Ooh, oh, we turned so tight that we stopped turning. What's really fun though, let me, let me put the brakes on. Go on F7. I don't, I don't know why you stand on a motorcycle like that. I mean, that's. Probably not very safe. I think think Sam here thinks he's evil Knievel. Oh yeah, I'm evil Knievel. But like Woo If you turn far enough you turn the opposite direction. It's kinda it's kinda crazy. Um but as as I said as a motorcyclist I can attest to the fact that leaning is what makes motorcycles so fun. Like I do this kind of stuff. Not on grass, I don't do off-roading 
But uh, yeah, loads of fun. I I'd also don't stand on my motorcycle. Don't freak out. I'm a responsible adult. I also wear a helmet and and a jacket and chaps and gloves and steel-toed shoes, all that good safety equipment when riding, so as to not incur injuries in the event I'm in an accident. I mean, chances are you still would, but you. You lessen the severity of them by wearing proper safety gears. Safety gear. The wheels don't spin, as you may have noticed. But uh, you know what? I think most of the time you're probably going to be sitting doing this in first first person. Um, doing it in third person from the front is very challenging. Let me let me put the brakes on here. All right. So here we are. And, oh, now it's working, actually, somewhat. Ish. Also, I guess it drives underwater. That's interesting. It must be an e-bike. And, uh, the electronics, I'm stuck. The electronics are, um, sealed or whatever. Resin coated, I don't know. They did whatever it is you need to do to electronics so they don't get wrecked from water. I might be stuck down here, actually. If I can go lower. I don't really want to do that, though. I want to get out. Wow, this, this drives really slow when you're in water. All right, I got some I got some air. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Like I said, obviously, it's, it's much better if you're driving on a smooth piece of terrain. Or if you build yourself a track or a road, or you get a mod that adds them, especially if it uses slabs instead of full nodes for the uh, elevation increases and decreases, because it'll make it a lot smoother. But uh, with with all that being said, I mean this is still pretty pretty enjoyable, even with the the flinging in your face of the handlebars. Oof. Yeah, when you get stuck, that's when you gotta reverse. Also, there seems to be uh, a minimum speed that you can lean at. Like, once you hit a certain threshold, it, it just doesn't let you lean anymore. Which also, as a cyclist, I can attest to, if you're going really slow, you don't actually lean. Because you'll, the bike will fall over. Um, and the reason the bike stays upright is mainly due to the gyroscopic nature of gyroscopes, I guess. I don't I don't really know the physics of gyroscopes. The wheels just act like big gyroscopes essentially and make the bike balance. I mean the bike itself weight wise is usually balanced. I would hope it you'd have a weird bike if it wasn't balanced. But the wheel spinning is what gives you the the gyroscoping effect that keeps it balanced very easily. Oh hey here all the bikes are let's crash. Oh, I just drove over them. All right, let's 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 crash. All right, so yeah, and then if you want to park it in a different direction, you can. Just like that, see? Oops. Oh, and yeah, you can... Uh, can we mine while we're... Yeah, we can. And we can... We can knock the other bikes... Wait. There we go. Oh, I was not pointing out where the bike is at. Yeah, see how cool that is? You can, I mean, you could kind of do um, evil Knievel stunts. You actually, oh, really can't as of right now because there's, oh, <laughs> the other bike's stuck in here still because there's not a very good mechanic. Four jumps, you pretty much just fall right away. You don't really maintain any velocity over the ground. But um, my understanding is that that is planned to be changed so that you can uh, you can be able to do jumps also there's no sounds right now the mod developer is looking for some sounds um I would record some myself but my motorcycle would be the very wrong sound for a motorcycle like this so this you want something that uh, sounds more like a dirt bike I think and mine doesn't also I don't do burnouts so because uh, they wanted sound effects for that but that's going to wrap up the motorbike mod review. 
This was actually a requested review by the mod author. If there is a mod you would like me to review, you can contact me using the links on my website or on the forums or in the YouTube comments, whatever. Nobody ever does it the right way anyway, so just do it however you want, because I know you will anyway. And uh, I'll see about getting a mod review thrown together for whatever mod you want. So that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another mod review, and I will see you then.